Hey beauties, I'm tuning in from home. We're all on quarantine and you know, it's leaving us a lot of free time to really just like reflect on like so many things with family life, work. We've all been kind of forced to just live, you know, a little differently right now. With all this free time that I have, I just thought I would like kind of touch base on a couple of things that I talk about a lot in the salon with clients. So like it's a great way to like connect with you guys and um, really give you guys all the information that you might be wanting more info on as far as like things with hair goes. A lot of things that I do are balayage, foil balayage, and hair extensions. I would say like 80% of my clients have hair extensions. A lot of times clients, they have so many questions about the methods I do. I do sewn in hair extensions and I also do tape in hair extensions. So. How about I start with just like showing you guys the difference between the two and these are tape and hair extensions. You can either do a full head of extensions with tapes and you can create fullness and length and color effects. Tapes are honestly great for all hair types like people with fine hair, medium or thick can absolutely use tape and hair extensions. If you're completely new to extensions, I always will show you guys both methods and then you can determine from there like what you're more comfortable with. Sewn in extensions are used with wefts just like this. And this is actually sewn into your hair. You can have this, um, you can have these extensions in for six to ten weeks. And same with tapes. You guys can wear tapes for about six to ten weeks. It just depends on how fast your hair grows. A lot of people are under the misconception that tapes damage your hair or sewn in damage your hair or they want one or the other because they feel like, you know, tapes are better than sewn in or sewn in are better than tapes. It's not necessarily true at all. It just depends on how the extensions are applied. If they're not applied correctly, of course they can cause damage. And it also has a lot to do with at-home maintenance. So however, you know, clients are taking care of their hair, however I'm going to take care of my hair is how my hair the end all is going to be like if I'm not brushing my hair, my hair is not going to look good. Um, or if I'm not using the right products, it's not going to look good. So it has a lot to do with um, at home maintenance, how the extensions are applied. Both are very safe methods. You know, it's up to your stylist at their discretion, like what they choose to do on you or up to your discretion, what you want to choose to have in your hair. So extensions are an investment and we always want to use the right products. So that kind of leads me into my next topic. It's so important that um, once we make this investment with our hair and buy, you know, our sew-in extensions that we're going to have installed or we're getting those tape and extensions installed, well, when we go home, we want to use like the right products to maintain that look. So I have sewn-in in my hair and I use um, Olaplex oil on my hair extensions. It's good for like nourishing. I also love surface basu oil. Um, I love Kevin Murphy's Young Again Oil. Those are all great options, very nourishing, and they'll make your extensions feel a lot softer. Your extensions will look more polished too if you're using some sort of oil on your ends um, so that way it adds shine back in. Another product that I love is I use IGK. This is called First Class. It's got charcoal in it, so the charcoal in it helps detox your hair. It helps lift oils and dirt out of your hair, and it also makes your um, style extend a couple more days. So if you're someone like me who um, doesn't wash their hair every day, then IGK First Class Dry Shampoo is like definitely a good product to use. I think like the number one product that I think is maybe not talked about with extensions is honestly your hairbrush. I mean, I'm just like obsessed with Hothead's um, boar bristle brush. So it does come in two sizes. There's like the big one, this is a large brush, and there's like a small pocket brush. This is so worth the investment if you have extensions. I definitely recommend boar bristle brush because it's so gentle on your hair. It helps distribute oils from here to the ends. You'll always hear me say brush your hair two to three times a day especially with extensions. The last thing you want is like matting happening. This is my go-to brush for extensions. It's 100% worth it. If you guys want to know more about hair extensions or about getting them installed, if it's your first time, I would absolutely love to chat more. I do free consultations. I love using Hothead's hair extensions. There's like so many colors 
to choose from and these are all of the tape and colors that I offer too so if you guys feel like you're not sure if colors would match like there's always a way to match your hair and find that right color for you thank you guys so much for watching stay safe out there i definitely miss seeing you all in the salon i would love to share more information so definitely dm me if you guys have more things that you want me to elaborate more on thank you guys